Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using a 14 inch wreath frame from Dollar Tree, some mesh and tulle and ribbon also from Dollar Tree. I started with this black mesh from Dollar Tree. I needed two rolls of that and I needed to cut 18 strips at 20 inches. Next, I took this purple mesh also from Dollar Tree and I cut nine strips at 20 inches and I only needed one roll of that. Next, I took this decorative tool also from Dollar Tree and cut it in strips of 12 inches. I used two different patterns and I needed four rolls total, so two of each pattern. And then I took this Halloween themed ribbon also from Dollar Tree, cut strips of seven inches, and I used two different designs and I needed nine of each. And then I fishtailed the ends on both of those. And to start the wreath, I took a pipe cleaner that I cut in half, wrapped it around the third ring from the center, took this black mesh, kind of rolled each end, and then kind of walked my fingers until they met in the center, just pinching and ruffling it up. And then putting it in between that pipe cleaner and twisting it. Doing the same thing with the purple mesh on top of the black and then twisting the pipe cleaner. And then I take this decorative tool, do the same thing with that, just scrunching it in the center, keeping it pinched and then placing it on the pipe cleaner and twisting the pipe cleaner again. And I only used one of the decorative tools if I added the purple mesh and then took one of the designs of ribbon, pinched that in the center, and then added that on top of the pipe cleaner. And then I work on the second ring from the center. So I'm just gonna alternate rings all the way around. Starting again with the black mesh, roll the ends, pinch in the center until it's completely together, wrap it in that pipe cleaner, and then this one, I'm only doing the black mesh, so I add both different decorative tools. So each bunch just keeps getting added onto that same pipe cleaner, twisting it in between each one. And then I did the same thing with the ribbon, this time just alternating the pattern of the ribbon. Next, I go back to the third ring from the center. And each section of the wreath will have three bunches. And I alternate the designs I'm doing. So this one, I'm doing the black and purple mesh with one decorative tool and one ribbon. So every other bunch will have the purple. And that is what one section looks like when it's completed. And then to make it a little easier, I went ahead and started adding the pipe cleaners ahead of time and to show you where their placement is. So they'll alternate. This one has two on the second ring in, one on the third. And then the next one would have one on the second ring, two on the third. And this is what it will look like when it's all filled in. Next, I wanted something to go on it, so I took this six and a half inch wood round from Hobby Lobby, covered it in white chalk paint. I did one coat covering the entire thing, dried it completely, and then added a layer of Mod Podge to one side. Then took this printable I had created, cut that out, and then placed it on the Mod Podge, smoothing it out with my hands, and then using my heating tool to dry that completely. Once that was dry, I did an outer layer on top of the printable and then used my heating tool again to dry that. 
and using saran wrap scrunched up and just pushing down to get out any bubbles or wrinkles. And then once that was dry, sand it off any excess paper and then put it on top of the wreath to see where I wanted the placement and kind of just held my fingers on where it will attach to the wreath form. Marked those spots. I used hot glue to glue on some zip ties onto the back, just making sure they're placed down so when they're closed, they'll be placed the right way so the zip tie will lock into place. Waited till the glue was completely dry and then took the zip tie on one side, pushed it through the frame and then went and held it through the back and then put the zip tie together, but not completely tight yet. And then did the same thing with the other set of zip ties. Again, not making it completely tight just yet. Made sure it was where I wanted it and then pulled it a little bit tighter, cutting off the excess zip tie. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching.